Hello Aquarius, I hope you're doing awesome today. Thank you for being here. Let's get right into your reading. Aquarius, if you are here, which obviously you are, you're meant to be. So let's find out why, shall we? Aquarius, let's take a look. Who am I connecting with today? Who's in your energy? What is going on? Let's find out. All right, first card. We have the Ace of Cups. So, okay, new love offer. Oh, and look at what's on the bottom, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, what else? What's the obstacle here? We have the Page of Swords. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles, and we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, that's potential outcome here. Okay, so I know it's the Queen, but male or female, whoever you're dealing with, could be a water sign, doesn't have to be. But it looks like somebody carries a lot of emotions for you, probably more so than you realize. Um, I feel like they work a lot. You might work with them. Um, I just get this feeling that every time you're around them, like you would have no idea that they feel this way about you because they're always so distracted. You know, something like that. Um, Page of Swords, but they keep an eye on you or you keep an eye on them. What's under this Ten of Pentacles? We have the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, it's very slow, very, very slow. Okay, so let's let's get some clarity on this. What is the deal? I'm kind of getting mixed signals. Are you getting mixed signals off this person? Because I'm getting mixed signals off this person. <laughs> but yeah, let's try and get some answers here for you, Aquarius. Why is this Ace of Cups here? What is this about? We have the Seven of Wands. And we have the Nine of Swords. So somebody is very stressed out over you. And we do have the star here at the bottom, Aquarius energy. And we have the Six of Cups. Lots of like nostalgia, like thinking, daydreaming. And we have that Two of Pentacles underneath that. Whoever this is, this is one stressed out mofo. I'm not going to lie. This person is stressed out over you. Their feelings for you. And I don't understand why. I get the feeling, you know, I haven't pulled any cards that show this yet, but I get the feeling that there could be some kind of toxic um, attachment on their side. It could be like an ex or something like that. But there's somebody or something that they need to let go of and they know it. And because there is that kind of weird addiction energy there, it's hard for them to fully detach and they know that they can't fully detach or they can't uh, fully approach you unless they fully detach with whatever this other energy is. Again, I don't know if it's a person or it could be some kind of addiction or something like that. Or, you know, maybe they're a work workaholic. Like I said, I feel like this person's very busy and maybe they know, like maybe they feel like they don't have the time for a relationship or whatever because they're very much afraid of change. They, they have like, I wanna say like an addiction to their comfort zone in a way. Even though they do feel this strong, intense, strong, I didn't even mean to say intense, but this strong um, connection to you, they want to fight it. But I, I feel like with this Queen of Cups in the end here, potential outcome, they're not going to be able to fight it for too much longer. Okay. So Page of Swords, why is this here? We have the Devil. What did I just say? There's this negative attachment. And it makes it so that they they have to like almost watch you from the outside in a way it's like it, there, there's this feeling of like them knowing that they can't give you everything right now because of this attachment whatever it could even just be you know bad self-esteem okay this negative self-talk well i'm not i'm not good enough for aquarius they'll never go for me I'll, I'll never be good enough you know and i there's just something like that okay what else we have the two of swords yeah it's like this feeling of like blocking themselves from you before they even like, you know, give it a chance. You know, you they may end up being the love of your life, but they wouldn't know that until they give it a chance. But they're letting this devil energy win right now. Again, mixed signals. I don't know if maybe like at some point, maybe they did tell you that they liked you or, you know, had feelings for you. But then all of a sudden they you know they're you're, they're distracted they're busy they're they're nowhere to be found because they're just they're always so busy or you know whatever the case might be but know that it's a facade 
okay they do have these feelings they just have this weird negative attachment let me try to get some details on what this might be obviously it's probably gonna be different for everybody but you know maybe i can pick up on the majority what is this we have judgment we have the moon pisces cancer we have the four of swords we have justice libra energy so for some of you it is some kind of like ex or like divorce situation going on and wanting to keep it a secret from you you know with the moon there and the four of swords we have the world it's like they want to make sure that it's completely over before they come to you but it's it, it's a very unhealthy attachment to this person for to this past person they want it to be over but then there's this feeling of like of this like guilt i feel like whoever they were with it could be somebody who um guilt tripped them a lot so they just feel very guilty like they're giving up but this is something that they need to give up on because it's painful it's been hurting them and i feel like in a way this shows like how loyal this person might be because even though like this is like beating a dead horse over here with this past person that they're attached to they still don't like the thought of like giving up are the feelings there no i don't really feel it i feel like this cycle has closed out i want to say that it's been closed out for quite some time you know with the moon card there i think this could be like their hidden feelings for you and this feeling of like no going back maybe because of you and the feelings that they have for you them realizing like hey i have these feelings for aquarius you know maybe it really is over with this past person and that might be kind of scaring them in a way too because you know closing out a chapter you know stepping into the unknown that can be a little scary right but it is over do i feel like are they with the person right now i don't really feel like they are four of wands oh ace of swords seven of cups for some of you i know it's probably not what you want to hear but i feel like for some of you they could still be trying to work things out with this person but again that feeling of like beating a dead horse and the seven of cups it's like dreaming for something more or like yearning for something more knowing that they're settling with for whoever's over here you know this ex this toxic attachment because I feel like this person they have some kind of like childhood wound or you know some kind of self-esteem thing where it's like they keep chasing approval from this person to try and like fill that void but they're never going to get it from that person I think they're coming around to the idea of like you know they're never going to get that I think they're finally like taking off those rose-colored glasses and they're seeing things for how they truly are hmm. so for those of you who are resonating you're wondering like why is this person like so like why are they giving me all these mixed signals it's because they were in a pretty toxic relationship and and i think they're finally seeing through the illusion it's taken them some time but they're they're seeing through it okay so anyway I went over that a lot okay so let's look at this eight of pentacles we have the high priestess pisces energy and we have the hangman pisces energy so you might be dealing with pisces okay we do have this queen of cups here but you know it do you don't have to be dealing with the pisces just for those who resonate the energy is here okay so again eight of pentacles the high priestess hangman this person's very much in their head their soul is calling them to you is pulling them to you they want something with you they feel it in their their heart their soul their being they know that this past thing is over with that it's done that they're seeing through the facade i want to i feel like i keep hearing like false soulmate like they thought this was their soulmate but it turned out that it's not there's a karmic thing but you there's an actual like soulmate thing with you and i think that's what's kind of wake waking them up or at least has helped them along in the process in some way and 
And the five of wands, again, that like being in their, their head, they're battling with themselves here because they know what their heart and their intuition, their soul wants, but then there's that their brains getting in the way. It's like this person, they're not used to um, going after what makes them happy. They're very much like a, a people pleaser. So that's something that, you know, for now, as energy sits right now, I feel like that's something that's um, uh, getting in the way, blocking this connection. Them being too much of a people pleaser. They could be, you could be dealing with the Capricorn too. I don't know if I said that with the Devil card. Um, so Queen of Cups, potential outcome, why is this here? We have the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Sign Energy. We have the Ace of Pentacles. I'll do one more on that. We have the Five of Cups. I just heard they're about to see what's been right in front of them the whole time. And I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means you. I don't know if that means like them like being fully awakened to the fact that, you know, what they've been dealing with was not their true soulmate <laughs> they're not their true like you know happily ever after whatever you want to say um i'm being drawn to this judgment card that was pulled over here it's like they're finally waking up and you are a part of that process because there is a soulmate connection here but it's just a very slow moving connection it's a very slow love story you know if you end up with this person so for those of you who are resonating with this do I feel like you're going to be together like tomorrow? I don't think so. I feel like this person has some shit to get through, to get over. Um, but I do see this being like yeah, the potential for something long term with this Ace of Pentacles. It's just a matter of them, you know, offering you this pentacle, first of all, but then like choosing to go through this gateway. I do feel like they're close to it, though. OK, so, so any more details about this? We have the devil showing up again. Are you kidding me? Okay, so Capricorn energy. Six of pentacles. Ten of wands. We do have death here at the bottom, Scorpio energy. And under that we have the wheel of fortune. So things are going to change at some point. They are going to fully wake up and move on and let go of this devil energy. But for, you know, where the energy is sitting right now, they're still feeding this energy. You know, whether they're still with this person or trying to work it out or talking to them or, you know, whatever the case might be, or just, you know, thinking about it, wondering what they could have done better, you know, needing closure, but not getting that closure within themselves. I do feel like they're holding on to it in some way. For now. Again, this is a very slow moving connection. Like if you end up with this person, don't expect it to happen tomorrow. Okay. I'm not going to bullshit you and, you know, tell you the opposite. So is there like some kind of long-term potential here then? We have the chariot, cancer energy. We have the empress, Taurus energy. And we have the eight of swords. There is potential there. There's a potential for this to like go far, <laughs> go the distance um, that you guys could have a very cozy, I want to say cozy, like a very nice, warm connection. But the obstacle here is them. They're getting in their head and maybe you too. Maybe you're the one dealing with the toxic ex or, you know, whatever. But the problem, the obstacle here is someone is just majorly in their head. But this connection could go far. I think for some of you, for those who resonate, you could end up having kids with this person or potentially, maybe they already have kids. That's something that's sticking out to me. So what are their future actions? We have the King of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Four of Pentacles. And we have the Six of Wands. <sighs> Mixed signals. <laughs> um, does this person have a habit of like, you know, 
telling you something, giving you some kind of hint, and then you don't hear from them again for like, I don't know, days, a month, whatever. They have this weird like hot and cold thing. And it's not, it's not really that they're hot and cold because they're like playing you or being narcissistic or whatever. It's hot and cold because, you know, first of all, it's like they're testing the waters out here. But also, and they can't really hold back from you as much as they want to because of that connection that they feel. But there's also the feeling of like, you know, they, they approach you, but then they feel guilty and they want to like, you know, go back to the past or whatever. They have like major like people pleasing or ple people pleaser kind of tendencies. So that's part of why it's hard for them to fully escape this toxic ex or, you know, whatever it is. Oh man, you know, they have free will, obviously, you know, as the energy sits right now, they are very much in their head about this. Um, I do see, you know, there is that potential there though. It's going to be very slow and I'm not telling you to sit around waiting for you, for them either, okay? So don't put your life on pause for anybody unless you just feel like, you know, you just absolutely have to and this is what you need to do. You know, I don't recommend it, but um, just very much mixed signals. You know, there is a potential here for this to go the distance, you know, long term. But it's really just whether or not they get out of their head and I know that's vague as hell. But, you know, this is a general reading and, you know, somebody needs this confirmation. You know, maybe somebody just simply needs to hear, like, you know what, don't put your life on pause for this person because they're not coming around anytime soon. Okay, maybe somebody needs to hear that. You know, and if I can help somebody in that way, I'm going to fucking do it. All right, so, oh, sorry, hit the mic. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that is what I'm seeing. Sorry this wasn't, like, a cozy, like, nice reading, but, you know. I pick up on, you know, whatever comes out and somebody needs to hear this today and I hope it helps whoever needs it. Don't put your life on pause for anybody. There is a connection here. You're not, you're not crazy, okay? They feel it, you feel it, but they're dealing with some shit. You know, and one day, like I said, if this is like your love story, it's going to be a long lo love story, okay? It's going to take a while till you get to the juicy parts, okay? Um, so... The fun parts, I should say. Juicy part sounds a little gross. I'd... <laughs> but uh, yeah, that is your reading today, Aquarius. If that resonated, or if you just enjoyed the reading, leave some banana emojis in the comments below. I do offer personal readings, so if you're interested in a personal reading from me, you can email me at bananachipstarot at protonmail.com. It's, it's also in the description box. Like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.